I'm looking forward to playing, uh, you know, like Fred Dean and, and uh, the rest of those guys. Fred has 17 and a half, one guy had 13, so so it's kind of, uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to playing it because, you know, most people say, well, that's a key matchup, Manlin, Fred Dean, like we're saying, Joe and Montana. And uh, so, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to roll, and uh, I think that I'll be on Montana. Yeah, I'm ready. Who do you think is the best quarterback in the National Football League? Well, Dex, this is a guy named Joe. You know, he, he went to Notre Dame. Uh, he's a golden boy. He's a golden boy. That's two golden boys. I would have to go. His name is sorry, what is it, M? Something like M? That? Joe Montana. Case closed. Big trouble. <laughs> Uh, it'll give you an awful lot of sets, uh, a lot of diff people out of position, change things up to all the try to confuse you. Uh, we're very familiar with Dallas because we play them twice a year. Uh, going against a team like San Francisco, we don't see them very often. It makes it a little more difficult. Uh, I think probably the down point in the year for us was the Green Bay game. Uh, we didn't play well at all, but we were going against some great receivers and a quarterback. Lynn Dickey was just superb. He had a hot hand. And, uh, but I think since then we've uh, really regrouped and really have a little more confidence now. And uh, you know, teams in this league are going to throw on you. You have to accept that. But uh, the thing that we've done well is we've been very opportunistic and uh, have made the plays when we have to. Now let's not be fooled. There are a lot of important factors in this game, but none more important than John Riggins. As the diesel goes, so too do the skins. Five straight 100-yard playoff games for number 44. Can the 49ers stop the unstoppable Rigo? Russ Grimm, the Skins All-Pro guard, says don't sell the 49ers defense short. A lot of people say that uh, we're a much bigger team and, and things like this, but uh, they have an aggressive defense. Uh, they're quick more than anything. Uh, we're going to have to be able to handle that. And Basically, for, for us to win, we're going to have to run the football and uh, do a good job pass protecting for Joe. Looked like he looked off the safety. Was he your primary, or were you? No, at actually, him? Charlie is not necessarily in that coverage. Charlie isn't even supposed to get the football. As it turned out, um, I just I just took a chance on coming back. I tried to work the safety away a little bit, and then tried to go to Charlie down the middle, and it worked out to be beautiful.
Redskins become the first team since Pittsburgh in Super Bowls 9 and 10 to go to the Super Bowl in back to back seasons. It's on to Tampa Bay for these skins. I was I was hoping for a field goal. I mean I you know I would have settled for for the touchdown, but I really wanted a field goal because that was the only way I was going to be able to get myself out of hot water. Ken, are you ready for the Super Bowl? <laughs> uh, that's the best feeling I've had in, in quite a while. This is great. You know, I've, uh, you know, something you, you work for all all the days you play play football, and, and to finally have it a reality is, is unbelievable. The aggressive nature of the 49er secondary is one that leads itself. All year they've been getting penalties. This isn't the first time. This isn't the first ball game that the flag's been thrown against them. Ronnie Lott's had a number of interference calls against them. And, you know, and, and so um, to say that it, that was the officiating was the difference in the football game, how about the catch that Wendell Tyler said they had? Huh? How about that one? You want to talk about an officiating call? If that ball was in there, I'm Uncle Sam. We'll go to the Coliseum to check in on the Raiders and the Seahawks when Sunday Night Sports Extra continues. Stay with us.